Hey, what's up you guys? It's Mike Nardi here. Quick question for you. How often do you need to get something designed for you in a pinch? Whether it be for your side hustle, your job, school, YouTube channel, freelancing business, whatever. How often do you need to get something designed fast? The reason I ask is because as a freelance copywriter, small business owner, side hustler, YouTube content creator, I know what it's like to need to design something quickly and oftentimes I'm the person doing the designing. YouTube thumbnails, Fiverr gig images, you know, text graphics for YouTube videos. These are the types of stuff I find myself designing every day. These are some of the things I always come across and I'm constantly on the hunt for graphic design software that's easy to use, effective, and honestly not super expensive. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about an online graphic design software tool that's also today's video sponsor, PictoChart. PictoChart is an online graphic design software tool that's been around since 2011. And so far, since I've been using the tool, I found it pretty easy to use and surprisingly feature rich. So I'm hoping that this video can help give you an idea of whether it might be the best graphic design tool for you to use for whatever project you might need to use it for. So yeah, I'm gonna walk through PictoChart, give a little bit of a high level walkthrough of features, share my thoughts on who I think this might be a great option for, and yeah, put it out there that it might be a great tool for Fiverr sellers and freelancers. So I hope to really enjoy this. I would also be very interested in hearing in the comment section if PictoChart's something you you've already been using or if after watching this video, you'll consider using it. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you and start the conversation. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, PictoCharts an online graphic design software tool. To access it, you gotta head over to PictoCharts website and on their website, you'll notice you know, on their homepage, they talk about some of the things that the tool can be used for. Infographics, presentations, reports, PictoChart seems to be a really robust tool even from just looking at it on the homepage. So I'm gonna start this video by logging into my account in PictoChart and walking through some of the key features. Later on in the video, I'll talk a little bit about the different pricing plans and who I think PictoChart might be a solid option for. So the first thing you need to do is create an account. There's links in the description to help you get started with that, but once you've created your account, log into PictoChart and you're presented with this dashboard page. For anyone who's new to online graphic design softwares, the, the dashboard is basically the place where you'll be starting new projects, whether that be th through picking one of their professional templates and modifying it or creating a custom project. It's also a place where you'll notice you can create folders to organize your projects. So I've created a couple, one for YouTube thumbnails, one for Fiverr gig images, and one for text graphics for my YouTube videos. It's a great way that you can keep things organized, almost like uh, an online Google Drive. You can save projects in the places that makes most sense to save them. So if you wanna start a project, on the left side of the page, there's a whole bunch of different dropdowns for the different types of projects you can select and start from a template you know, professional PictoChart template. Um, I've started one for my YouTube sponsorship price list. I picked an infographic and I started building out and configuring and swapping out my own text and graphics for a price list that I want to use when YouTube sponsors reach out and ask what my prices are. It was a great way for me to get started because I'm not super graphically inclined and starting with a template helped me kind of have that confidence that whatever I'm going to build is going to look professional but you know also be configurable for something I want. So I thought that was pretty cool. But you can also start temp or projects from scratch. So for me, for example, I'm often creating YouTube thumbnails. So if I wanted to create a YouTube thumbnail in PictoChart, I would just select the custom size option. Uh, I, I do it based on pixels, so you can select how big of a canvas you're gonna be working on based on pixels or inches, whatever makes sense for you, and you can start a blank project that way as well. So far in my test, it's been super easy to use. Starting from templates has been something I've really enjoyed. You know, when I was swapping out things, graphics, text, uh, a lot of things snap to different parts of the screen to make it really easy to make sure that things are aligned and look professional on the finished product. And, and I really wanna stress that that template feature is something Thing that you know personally as someone who's not a pro graphic designer that's gonna save me a ton of time you know especially creating things like this YouTube sponsorship price list I've never considered creating one in the past because of how much work and thought 
I would have to put in to coming up with a really cool looking design. So this so far has made that process really easy for me. So yeah, everything is pretty straightforward, but one thing in particular that popped out that, you know, really helpful to me and I think is a cool feature for people like me who run YouTube channels or businesses where you want to keep branding consistent over time is PictoChart has this ability where you can import an image. So for example, I imported an image just of a screenshot of my YouTube channel. I have a very specific banner on my YouTube channel that has you know, very specific color green. Once you import this image, PictoChart will actually pull all the colors from that image and allow you to save them as you know custom colors that you can use for future projects. So this is a pretty clutch feature that you know, thinking back to when I started on YouTube would have been really helpful for me. When I first started out, every YouTube thumbnail I would create, I thought it would be really cool to make sure the color green I was using was consistent across every thumbnail. So what I did was when I figured out what color green I wanted to use, I literally copied and pasted the color code into a Google Doc. Every time I wanted to create a thumbnail, I had to open the Google Doc, copy and paste the color code, paste it in my graphic design tool, and then use the color. It's not a huge amount of work, probably took two minutes every thumbnail. But when you're doing multiple thumbnails a day, that really adds up and it gets a little monotonous. So by being able to import an image of, you know, for in my case, my YouTube channel or in a company's case, their branding, uh, PictoChart just pulls the colors from that, making it really easy to access them in future projects really easily from the color palette in, in the tool. I thought that was really cool. And if you're someone who's gonna be creating stuff, for businesses, you know, creating branding templates, marketing collateral, sales collateral, things like that, and you need the colors to be consistent over time, this is a feature that's gonna save you time. And when you have a workflow that's repeatable, saving a couple minutes here and there, you know, in the, this example with finding the right colors is huge. So I really found that feature really, really helpful. The other thing that I found super helpful was how many free graphics and pictures there were on PictoChart. So, when I'm creating YouTube videos, obviously anyone who's watched YouTube knows how important thumbnails are. Lately, I've been really trying to level up how good my thumbnails are at getting people to click, how cool they look on my channel. I just want them to be awesome, right? So I've been trying to find cool pictures online or in the tools that I'm using to make those thumbnails pop. Most of the time, the tools that I've used in the past have a select number of free images you can use, but then you have to like upgrade to a more expensive plan to get all of the all of the pictures and images. In PictoChart, they're all included. Even with the free plan, you get unlimited access to templates and graphics. So I found that pretty helpful. The library is pretty robust. I think it mentioned it was Upsplash, which um, I think that's the same photo library you would have access to if you use a site like Medium for blogging. Um, really cool. So. I've, I've already started thinking of ways that I could implement that into my YouTube thumbnail strategy and just thinking about other solopreneurs or small business owners who might not have the time to buy licensed images specifically for each project. Like that can be a super time consuming process. The fact that there are so many images already loaded into PictoChart make the whole selection process and finding something that works a lot faster, a lot more painless, and it's always better to have everything in one platform so you don't have to be flipping screens all the time. So I found that really, really helpful. And if you're gonna consider using the tool, take advantage of that because not a lot of tools offer a huge library like PictoChart does. From a pricing perspective, PictoChart's pretty straightforward. As a start, there's a free option and it's actually free and free forever is what it says on its pricing page. And with the free option, you can do quite a bit. So uh, I'll put up a, a screenshot of their pricing page. I think you're limited to how many projects you can do up to five, I think, but you have unlimited access to templates, pictures, graphics, it's pretty much like a full-fledged license of a of graphic design tool. Um, just kind of more aimed towards beginners or people just starting out. Above their free plan, you know, kind of the bread and butter, I would imagine for most users is their pro plan. And that one's $14 per user per month and pretty much unlocks everything. Uh, I, I could see that level being applicable to anyone using a tool like this as part of a business. So if you're a Fiverr seller, uh, creating things for people and selling it, you know, 
through fiber. You probably want a pro plan so you don't hit any of those bottlenecks when it comes to how many projects you can do. I also think that's probably the option for most small businesses or startups, you know, 10 to 20 people don't really have the, the setup to do, you know, an enterprise license agreement. I think that's probably the way to go for most people. But then PictoChart also has an enterprise option, which I think is cool, you know, not really relevant to me, but having worked in sales teams and large organizations in the past, it allows you to have, you know, an onboarding resource. So onboarding software to large teams is kind of hard to do. So it seems like PictoChart will actually help you do that, which is pretty cool. They'll help you set up single sign-on, which is again, really important for large organizations when they're trying to manage a lot of different software tools. PictoChart makes it easy to manage access control through single sign-on. So it seems like PictoChart really is targeting every part of the market, which is cool. Not many graphic design tools do that. They have a free version for kind of people dabbling or who just want to get started. Pro version that kind of covers everyone really. And then an enterprise version for those organizations that really want to level up how they're managing access to the tool, do you know professional onboarding rollout and things like that. That's pretty cool. And I think that speaks towards you know, how many different use cases a tool like this might be applicable in. Like thinking about, you know, enterprises, you know, working in sales at a lot of, a lot of big companies, I think it would be super useful to, you know, have a tool like this and for example, scatter a bunch of licenses out across your sales and marketing team so that sales reps are empowered to create really compelling presentations for themselves on the go because I know a lot of teams are just using the same old PowerPoint decks that are years old and really look dated. Setting someone up with a tool like this could really help them close more deals, which I think is awesome. So overall, what are my thoughts on PictoChart? Well, I think it's a pretty solid tool for a variety of different levels of professional and industry type. I think most of the functionality I walked through based on you know, my use case for PictoChart in this video would you know, point to it being a great tool for freelancers, solopreneurs, content creators, and people who need a, a really quick and easy tool to get things done for themselves fast, whether it be presentations, thumbnails, infographics, whatever. But then also, I think that, you know, based on my little analysis of their pricing model, it can really be configured and set up for organizations of varying sizes and varying use cases. I think it's a pretty flexible tool and honestly, doesn't hurt to give it a shot. I, I'm pretty happy that PictoChart reached out to me and put this on my radar because in the short amount of time that I've been using it, I'm already seeing use cases and ways that I can use it to make my workflow easier and add more value to my day to day. For example, building that infographic for my YouTube sponsorships and pricing, that's something I probably wouldn't have done unless I found a tool like PictoChart that made it easy. I was able to pick a template, modify the template, and now I'm excited to have a really professional looking pricing document that I wasn't really using before. I was just sending text, you know, either in an email or a text document to potential sponsors. Not as professional, so I'm really excited about that. Yeah, I'm excited to see what it's like using it for YouTube thumbnails as well. That's my two cents on PictoChart. Stay tuned, I have a new video on PictoChart coming up really soon that's gonna talk more specifically about how you can use PictoChart to make money on Fiverr. And I know a lot of you being Fiverr sellers probably be pretty interested in that video. So stay tuned, give PictoChart a try. There's gonna be links to sign up in the description of this video and leave me a comment letting me know what you think. If you're a more advanced user of PictoChart, I'd love to hear your feedback or even just comments on the topics I covered in this video. So thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.